Good morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. Uh, this part I'm going to be talking about more. When you can your uh, fruit for your fruit pie fillings, when you can that, when you go to make the pie, there's a few steps that you have to do. So I'm going to let you know. Now when you go to cook these, they say you're going to preheat the oven to 450 degrees. You prepare the plate, a flaky pie crust and you know, roll it out and do what you have to do on a nine inch pie plate. This is what you have to do next. You're going to have to drain one third of a cup of liquid from your homemade pie filling into a medium bowl. You're gonna whisk three tablespoons of cornstarch and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt into the liquid in the bowl until smooth. Then you add the remaining contents of the jar to the cornstarch mixer, stirring gently to blend. Then you pour it into your pie crust. Then top with the remaining pie crust, fold the edges under and crimp. Make sure you cut slits in the top for steam to escape. And you bake it for 15 minutes at 450 degrees, then reduce the heat to 350 degrees and bake for 25, 30 minutes. Now the people who are in Europe and use the metro system and all. I'm going to read the instructions, but I'll give you it that way now. They state to preheat your oven to 230 Celsius. Prepare your flaky pie crust and uh, fit, and you roll it out and fit into a nine inch, or I mean a 23 centimeter pie plate. Drain 75 mLs, I think that's milliliters, liquid from your one liter jar of homemade pie filling into a medium bowl. Then whisk 45 milliliters cornstarch and 0.2 milliliters salt into liquid in bowl two until smooth. You're gonna beat it till it's smooth. Then you add the remaining contents of the jar to the cornstarch mixture, stirring gently to blend. Now you pour it into your prepared pie crust, top with the remaining pie crust, fold the edges under and crimp. Make sure you cut slits in the top for steam to escape and bake at 230 Celsius for 15 minutes. Then reduce the heat to 180 Celsius and bake for 25, 30 minutes or until the crust is golden and filling is bubbly. All right, now that's how you do it. Now, for each, uh, if you're making apples, blueberries, cherries, tart cherries, or peaches or nectarines, the flavorings are different, so I'm going to go ahead and read these now as well and give you this information that you need. If you're using, now remember, these ingredients will make one quart, all right? This is why I was having trouble doing the blueberries because I kept on talking about quarts and six cups and it was driving me crazy. All right, if you're doing apples, two pounds of apples, you're going to peel, core, and slice. It should come up to about six cups or 1.5 liters. Wait a minute, scratch that. I'll read both of them. No, I'm gonna read it one way. One way, apples. If you need two pounds of apples, you're gonna peel, core, and slice about six cups. You're gonna need a half a cup of sugar. Now this is for each quart that you're doing. And the flavoring to that would be two tablespoons of lemon juice, one half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one fourth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. That's just for the apple pie. And remember these are what you're putting in each quart, for each quart. Blueberries, six cups. You wash and remove the stems, and for every six cups, you're gonna add three-fourths of a cup of sugar. Then, the flavoring is half a teaspoon of lemon zest, two tablespoons lemon juice, half a teaspoon ground cinnamon. Now, if you have dark, sweet cherries, you're gonna wash and remove the stems of the pits, which I did. Uh, what I like to do is after I had my pit remover, I used it once I pushed the pits out, I cut all my cherries in half. <laughs> That's how I did to make sure I got every pit out. To that, to the six cups of cherries, you need a half a cup of sugar, plus you're going to have two tablespoons of lemon juice, half a teaspoon ground cinnamon, and one fourth teaspoon almond extract. Now, if you have tart red cherries, you're going to wash and remove the stems and the pits. You use one and a fourth cups of sugar, but for flavor, you add one fourth teaspoon almond extract. That's it. Now, the next one is for peaches or nectarines. It's the same. 
You're going to peel the peaches, but they say leave the nectarines unpeeled. You have them, remove the pits, and slice. And each one of those quartz jars will take a half a cup of sugar. Well, actually, to, do, to the two pounds of peaches, you need a half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. All right, that's how it, the, each one of those measurements I gave you was for one quart, okay? So all you have to do is if you're using any of those, you just have to follow the blueberry, but just make sure you put those racials in of whatever fruit that you're using and just follow through. And it's the same way I did the blueberry, but I wanted, when the guy said he'd like to try to make pies like this, if he can, I wanted to make sure that he understood that you have to drain the liquid, you know, to bring the, the, the canned fruit pie filling to the flavorings and everything that you need to make sure it thickens up because if you just pour it into a pie plate with the crust, it won't thicken unless you get that cornstarch in it and you're gonna need a little bit of salt added to it, okay? So I hope this helps. Take care. We got one more day of heat. Pray it goes fast. Take care, bye-bye.